Hi everybody, how's everything going? My name is Steve. Right now, with everything going on in the world, a lot of interns have started their internship, but this time it's a bit unusual because most people have either got their internship canceled or have turned their internship into completely remote. You might feel a little bit lost or a little bit frustrated. Don't worry, I'm going to share some of the tips that I learned when I was an intern six years ago. And actually in this video, I'm joined by Evan Trattle, who's a college student and who's doing his internship right now, who's going through this right now. If you guys don't know Evan, he's a college student majoring in computer science and engineering, and he has a very popular YouTube channel, eTrattle. Here, take a look. With that said, let's dive right in. Hi Evan, long time to see you. Very good to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you too. How have you been? Um, I've been pretty good, uh, busy, um, but uh, kind of very unusual because during the quarantine, everything is locked down. Everything has to be done from home. So everything has to be in virtual. So I guess you experienced the same, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly the same for me. My internship has started uh -huh. online, which is a little strange, but it's exciting. Oh, well. okay. Yeah, I heard about that. Yes, even uh, at our company, it's yeah the same. Uh, we had an intern started like last week, uh, but this time he's completely virtual. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I guess it's across the board. Every company is having that interns doing virtual, like remote intern. Can you just tell us a little bit about uh, who you are and what you've been working on very briefly? Yeah. So my name is Evan and I'm a computer science student. I've always just loved programming for many, many years now. Nice. I started making my own small video games. I have finished up my second year at university now. So I have started my first internship nice. over this nice. summer. Nice, congrats. By the way, if for yeah. anybody who doesn't know, Evan has a very popular YouTube channel. He's guiding people how to make cool uh, video games. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yes. so that's yeah, little games that you can make and put them on your phone or on your computer, nice. anything like that. Nice. He explains things very clearly. So uh, definitely I'll put a link to his channel uh, down in the description box. So please check out his channel. Yeah, for sure. Thank you very much, Fisher Coder. And I'd like to ask you mm -hmm. the same question to you. Can you introduce yourself? Yes, sure. Absolutely. My name is Steve Sun. I graduated from the same university, our great University of Minnesota Twin Cities. Um, I've been there five semesters, so two years and a half. So I graduated uh, December 2014. Um, then um, after I graduated, I moved to uh, San Francisco Bay Area and started working full time as a software engineer. Um, ever since, so uh, almost six years. Actually, I just uh, started my internship uh, exactly six years ago um, at one of the fan companies in Seattle. That's about me. So um, I'm also uh, running a YouTube channel uh, trying to produce interesting uh, programming and tech tutorials to help people better prepare for interviews and how to advance their careers. Yeah, that's about me. Yeah, you have a lot of good like different lead code videos and also sort of AWS videos as well. Yes. So yeah, definitely check them out if you're watching this from my channel. And well, just recently I have started my first internship and Steve here, he has a lot more experience than I do. So I would just like to ask him a few questions about getting started with an internship and yeah, just how do you succeed in an internship at a top tech company? So first of all, I'd like to ask you, uh, what did you know before getting into a internship at a top tech company? Like what's the background you should have and everything like that? The background I can, I guess I can first talk about from my, myself, my own experiences. So I did my internship um, at Amazon in 2014 that summer. At that time, I was a master's student in progress at University of Minnesota, second year master's student in computer science. I knew I took a lot of uh, data structure and algorithm classes, which turned out to be be super handy and basically you use them on a daily basis in your day-to-day -day job even in your internship in our university is called CSCI 4041 uh, data structure and algorithms that class mm -hmm. and then I took the graduate level class as well it's 55,000 level advanced data structure and algorithms I took those two classes and of course operating systems there there's undergraduate level and graduate level uh, 3081 and 40, 4061. Anyway, those uh, operating system classes, data structures, networking, networking fundamentals, and advanced networking, if you have time, just take it. I took them before I got the internship. I felt uh, those knowledge and concepts proved to be super helpful on my day-to-day -day job. What else uh, did I know? Um, 
I think I practiced um, um, data, uh, data structure and algorithm uh, problems before I went into the internship interview. For me, Amazon went to University of Minnesota for campus recruiting in guess if I recall right, it is February or January of 2014. So it's very early every year they went to, I don't know if they changed it now, but they usually do it very early for very top tier companies. They recruit higher very early. So I went to the campus recruiting. It's a small room in computer science hall. So I did back to back two rounds of interview. One round is 45 minutes. You basically get an ask, uh, introduce yourself briefly, and then you're assigned a tech question. How can you really solve, come up with the solution and solve the problem you are given with the time and space constraint very elegantly if possible, and then ask, uh, then answer the follow-up questions. Yeah, that's all that I knew and how I got the uh, internship offer. Back then, um, I guess things have changed quite a bit. Um, so maybe Evan, you can share with um, our audience how you got your internship offer. Did things change? How you were preparing for the internship interview? Yeah, so in order to prepare for the internship and everything like that, I first of all, submitted my resume, uh -huh. but actually after submitting my resume and after I heard back from the company that they wanted to interview me, uh -huh. I spent a lot of time editing my resume because I just had seen some other people's resumes and I felt that I, I should really improve it if I want to make a good impact sure. and have a good chance of getting an offer. So I think that was really important for me because by editing my resume and really understanding what I was talking about, I tried to make sure that I had everything succinct and explanatory in my resume so that when I went into the interview, I could easily talk about anything on my resume. And I had, I even included some smaller projects that I was more personally excited about because you should show your own passion exactly. when you're, yeah, when you're applying for an internship because they want, they want to be able to see that you are working on your own projects and you have your own interests beyond just studying in college. Right. I guess the, uh, those um, passion projects on your resume prove uh, to be very helpful, right? They caught um, your interviewer's yeah. eyes, right? Yeah, for sure. And even when I had my on-site interview that I actually had, they, I actually showed them one of the apps that I had created before. Wow. And I think that had a big impact. The The people who were interviewing me were actually very impressed by that. So I think if you show them some concrete proof of what you've worked on, mm -hmm. that's so much more impressive than just saying, even if you had a cool project and you say, oh yeah, 500 people downloaded my app. That's cool, but if you can show them your app, then that's even more impressive to them. Exactly, absolutely, yes. Yeah, I love uh, being impressed by hands-on people. Yeah, especially for us, for computer science and engineer students. Yeah, we value hands-on skills. Amazing, that's cool. Yeah, how did yeah, your interview so, experience go? Yeah, so I had one interview at my university, actually. Mm -hmm. And during that interview, it was just a simple meet and greet. And then also one very easy, like leak code easy sort of question cool. that I got asked. Mm -hmm. And then I had a full day of on-site interviews and those were uh, i would say more intense but the questions the technical questions they asked were not super difficult mm -hmm. it was more the personal questions that they asked me about like talk about a time you experienced this or that and during the interviews they really challenged me and tried to dig deep they asked a lot of mm -hmm. more specific questions about well, how did this project go and what could you have done to improve on this or mm -hmm. what could you have done to improve on that? So, yeah, I had three different interviews on site. And after that, it took a few weeks and then I heard back about my acceptance. Nice, nice, nice. Congrats. Wow. I didn't even know that they require a full day of interview for an internship offer. Wow, yeah. it's really challenging. But I'm glad you, you made it through. You, you got the offer. Nice. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so the next thing I'd like to talk about uh -huh. is once you have your offer, uh -huh. what's what's what are a few things you can do to have a good impression 
on the first few days of the first week. Sure, great question. What are the things that you want to do to make sure that you have a good impression? I would say for the internship, so you will be assigned for all of these big tech companies. You, it's gigantic the company size, right? But of course, you will be assigned to do your internship and project with a specific small team. Like the max is twenty people, I guess, but it's usually、um, eight or twelve people. This. Size of a team, I would say, try to get along with everybody on this team, which is very good. That's going to leave a very good impression, or at least first impression on everybody on this team. I think it's、uh, you're going to be assigned for a dedicated person whose whose job is to help you help you ramp up and on board. We call that person mentor. I don't know for the company that you intern for, they might call it like a host or something else.、And、of course,、uh, you want to get along with your mentor or host very well. Try to like be more conversational, but don't be too aggressive. <laughs> Try to come up with start a conversation、uh, when people are busy, right? Try to get along with everybody on the team and ask、uh, engaging questions. Ask questions that that make people on the team feel oh he's or she's really listening to the project. She's she's really engaged to what our team is doing. She is curious. He wants to learn about our team. And also, don't be too aggressive because this is a short, temporary, at max sixteen weeks. Usually, it's twelve weeks internship. Um, so the purpose of the internship is to get a person still in school but in this field to be familiarized with the industry work, so that they know what they are studying at school right now could be applied directly into their future job. This is a very practical field for us computer science and and engineering students. So what we learn at school is going to be very handy. We're going to apply that. Throughout the rest of our career, if we're going to stick with this field, what else? Usually,、um, you will have a manager or mentor or host, and they're going to set up a one-on-one weekly one-on-one conversation with you. If they didn't do that in the first week, you can try to have the conversation at least with your manager in the second week to say.、Um, During my entire internship experience, I'd like to have a weekly sync up to checkpoint to sync up with you, ask for for feedback. What do you think I've done in the past week? Anything that I can improve? Where I've done really good that、um, you think I've met the bar, or where I can improve?、Um, ask questions like this. Just set up this process weekly one on one. Another thing that、um, may be good to help leave a good impression is try to again engagement. Try to engage. Try to participate. Take take part in all of the team activities. I I know for these big tech companies, there's usually team event. For example, like say three p.m.、Um, the team that I internet. Like three or four p.m. every weekday, we just go to another floor. There is a ping pong table. We play ping pong there every day. Although I didn't play very well, there is one guy. He's like professional level. He beat he beats us every day. But we just go there. Um, um, although I was an intern, everybody welcomed me.、Um, it would be、um, in the end of my internship.、Uh, people feel. Would be weird if Steve didn't go to the ping pong. <laughs> so、uh, you just make people, make the full timers. They feel like you are part of the team already. So they would really welcome you back.、Um, that would be really cool. What I would say. How do you leave a good impression? I, I mean,、um, at the end of the day, just to be yourself. I know you are qualified. You are you are a great、um, engineer student. So just be yourself. Don't like try to make things up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Next, I'd like to ask. How is an internship overall, like over the course of the twelve or sixteen weeks? How is it usually organized, and what should sort of be your goal for, I guess, the end of the internship? Sure, great question. So this twelve、um, or sixteen week internship, it's usually one project.、Um, if say the the complexity of the project is not super well defined, or it's not complex enough, or the intern is really strong. He could, he or she could have finished the project really quickly and still have like half of the、uh, internship time、um, left. So they might have another second project. But it's pretty common these days.、Um, one intern does two complete projects during the entire internship. So I would say the internship is organized by around the project.、Um, so your delivery, your performance, your evaluation at the end is going to be. Evaluated against the project. That's a good thing because it's very objective. There is nothing too subjective. 
Um, also, how you are going to be evaluated against is also you can uh, ask your peers, basically um, along with your mentor, other people that you have ever interacted with professionally, not just play ping pong or just go lunch. Uh, professionally, you can ask them to write feedback uh, in in writing for you if they think uh, if you think they can write something very positive about you. Um, so at the end, your manager is going to compile all of the feedback from your mentor. I guess that's the most important, and your manager along with other peers. At least that's what I have gone through. So I can only speak from my experience, but I guess it applies to all of the top tech companies. I would say 70% is very objective. Uh, you are going to be evaluated based on how you delivered the project you are assigned to. And But throughout the process, how did you deliver? How did you work with your teammates? Uh, like say, how did you address, say, like um, in week three or week four, you submitted your first CR and the, the people on your team is going to, like your mentor is going to comment on your CR, right? How did you address the code review comment? Uh, did you really understand them? You, did you really address every single comment before you merge your code? And how did you really work with people? Did you really dive deep or you just keep asking questions um, like very surface questions, which is going to be a waste of other co-workers' time. And it's not good for your own learning experience. For us computer science or computer engineers, we like uh, being hands-on. So maybe spend a couple minutes dive deep before asking a question. So the way um, you did your internship and how you interacted with your co-workers to deliver your final intern project, I think all of these will be considered to to evaluate the performance of your internship. And of course, uh, you ask about uh, what's the end goal. The end goal, I guess, for a company, the reason, that's my understanding, I'm just talking about my understanding, the reason for companies to host interns is this is a very great way for companies to hire future employees, right? They would like to use this 12-week or 16-week period to evaluate this potential future employee. If this is a great fit, then we'll definitely extend a full-time return offer once he or she graduates from college, right? This is a great way for hiring for us, for interns. I would say this is a great experience for us to gain hands-on experiences since we've never been out of school while we're studying in school. So this is a great way to gain hands-on knowledge. Um, so I would say the end goal is to try to get a full-time return offer at the end of the internship. So if, like say in your case, you have one more or three more semesters before you graduate, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so- Yeah, three more. Three more, okay. So in that case, you're going to get a return intern internship offer. So doing one more internship and then at that end you'll graduate, then you'll get a return full-time offer. I would say that's the goal. Yeah, I, hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And to wrap up, I guess, do uh -huh. you have any last advice for success at an internship? Any last tips for success at an internship? Um, I would say be yourself and don't stress out. Enjoy life. <laughs> yeah. uh, as you have already uh, started your internship, you must have got the internship offer. That means you have met the internship bar at this great tech company. So be yourself. It's just a time to show your skills, show your talent. Try to have a great time with the team you are assigned uh, with. Try to show your skills with through the project and try to have great interaction with your with your teams, with your teammates, and don't stress out. <laughs> Life is for enjoyment. <laughs> I believe you'll be very, very successful for sure. No doubt on that. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, thank you for all your advice. It's really helpful to get started with my internship. All right, thank you very much, Evan. That concludes our video today. So if you guys have any comments, questions, suggestions, advice, just leave me down in the comment section below. And also we made a video on Evan's channel. I put the link down in the description box below here. Please do take a look and check it out. Again, please just smash the like button. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next one.